Morning. This is Becca Hilburn. I write for uh, Natto Soup's art and process blog. Uh, I guess technically I'm Natto Soup. Uh, and the blog is nattosoup.blogspot.com. This is for a series I'm doing on accessible and affordable art supplies. This is my Target haul. Um, also in the series is a Dollar Tree haul, which will be coming up in the next few weeks, and a Walmart haul, which is already up on the blog. So if you're interested in affordable art supplies, you should check it out. Um, so when I went to Target, um, and when I say Target, I mean my Target when I live in New Orleans. Uh, so the Esplanade Target in Metairie, Louisiana. Um, when I went to Target, I went with a few things in my, that I was specifically looking for, kind of like my basic supply kit. I needed something that you could lay down color with, I needed something you could lay down color on, I needed something you could draw with, I needed something you could ink with, I needed something to hold it all together. So um, that's what I went in looking for. And uh, I'm going to show you guys what I got today. So um, I'm going to be starting, unfortunately you guys can't really see this, but I'm going to be starting from my right and going to the left in terms of the items that I selected explaining them to you guys. Right now I'm holding a UB pencil case and what's interesting about this pencil case is it's um, meant to go on your sketchbook and I don't have any pencil cases like that and I thought that was pretty neat so um, that's why I picked this one. There are probably cheaper pencil cases that you could get at Target but for like $4.99 it's not really worth losing any sleep over. I've had the same Nomad pencil case for like four or five years. It goes everywhere with me. So um, what you really want to focus on is finding one that's big enough to hold your supplies, has enough compartments to keep everything organized, and is sturdy enough to last. And this pencil case doesn't, well, I say that and then the zipper jams. <laughs> but it seems pretty sturdily built. It's lined on the inside with a plastic coating in case one of your pins explodes. Um, it's got two compartments, a big one, which looks plenty big to hold your pencils and pens, and then a little one on the front, which probably is meant to hold your eraser or maybe like a thumb drive. Uh, so I thought that was pretty neat. And that was in the children's stationery slash art supply section. Um, I bought all of these things during their back to school special. Um, the only thing I got from the back of the store is the thing I'm going to talk about next, a sketchbook. And this was one of two that were left, two of this kind, and it was the only kind they had. Um, and every other time I've gone to Target, it's I've never found sketchbook sketchbooks at Target. Um, it's by Up and Up, which is the Target brand. UB is also which make UB, which makes the pencil case I just showed you, is also a Target brand. Pretty much everything I'm going over today is Target, except for two things. Um, and it's not that Target doesn't sell other brands; it's just that. Um, I didn't want to buy the same stuff I bought in the Walmart review because that's kind of pointless. So the next thing I'm going to cover is this really beaten up pack of 30 markers. They're water-based markers, which is pretty common for kids' stuff. Um, it wasn't in this bad of condition when I bought it in the store. I actually mailed everything back to myself in Nashville, which sounds pretty stupid, but I had a shopping accomplice, my mom, so um, that's kind of why I did that. She doesn't live in Nashville, she lives in New Orleans, so it's not like I could do that with her here. Um, so 30 color water base markers. Um, I also thought this was kind of neat, the Gorilla Lead Mechanical Pencil. It has a larger lead than I'm usually, than I'm used to, and it's by Right Dudes, so it's one of the non-Target brand things I picked up. And it also comes with some replacement leads because honestly the lead for this is probably pretty hard to find. It's like a square lead, so it's a specialized lead. Next are some watercolor markers made by Up and Up. Um, Crayola also makes some watercolor markers that I would like to noodle around with at some point. Um, I just haven't yet. That's one of the things on my Amazon wish list. A UB pencil sharpener. Even though I didn't buy any traditional pencils for this review, I use traditional pencils for sketching a lot, and I understand a lot of other artists don't use mechanical pencils. They use uh, traditional wooden pencils, so I thought it was important to pick up a pencil sharpener. And this one has two, two uh, sharpeners in it. You probably can't see that, but check out the blog post where I go through everything in detail. You'll be able to see it then. And it also has a cap on it. 
I picked up these EK Tool journaling markers and I'm not really, oh I'm sorry, journaling pins and I'm not really sure what the difference between journaling pins and fine liners are. I mean, these do come in a variety of bright colors and I'm sure they're meant to be used in your journal, but any technical pin can be used, well, a lot of technical pins can be used in your journal. A lot of technical pins are pigment based and a lot of technical pins come in a variety of colors. So I'm excited to see why these are called journaling pins and not technical pins, other than branding. Um, I also picked up these EK Tool calligraphy pens, and they're dual tipped. Um, one is a small calligraphy tip, one is a large calligraphy tip. I don't actually do a lot of calligraphy myself. Uh, my handwriting is atrocious. <laughs> I have to sketch everything out before I draw it, so I'm not the best person to go to for hand lettering. But um, I thought these looked fun, and I thought they'd be something you guys might be interested in, so I picked them up as well. Um, I also got these Sharpie fine liners. Um, they're fine for inking if you don't intend for what you're inking to be archival, so if you plan on scanning it in the near future, they're fine. Um, I used them a lot when I was just getting started. I think I paid a lot more at Target than I would have at Walmart. This is another one of those things that you could get at either place, and the Sharpie markers also come in a range of colors. Um, these are black. I'm not sure if they're Copic marker proof. We're gonna find out together. I'm pretty sure they're waterproof though, so they should be fine with those water, with these watercolor markers and some of the other watercolors I'm gonna show you guys. Um, I picked up some highlighters. They come in a variety of colors. They're made by Yubi. Um, I thought they were very cute. I'm pretty prone to cute things. Uh, I also know a lot of artists who do their art using highlighters because it, highlighters have fluorescent colors and a lot of marker brands don't make good fluorescent colors. So I thought it would be fun to make something that uses these highlighters. Um, I also picked up a set of Up and Up watercolors. Um, I'm going to be comparing them to the Crayola watercolors I've already reviewed on my blog. I recommend you check that out if you're interested. Um, already the case feels kind of cheap compared to the Crayola and I can't see the quality of the brush. So that's going to be exciting. I picked up these UB erasers. You get two of them. I picked up a set of .7 up and up mechanical pencils. These are pretty similar to what I used when I was in high school. Um, I use a drafting pencil now, but I have no problem using plastic mechanical pencils. They're often easier on my hand. Uh, I picked, I goofed here. I picked up .5 lead as a refill for my .7 mechanical pencils, not very smart. So um, I might have to fudge that review a little bit and use one of my, uh, one of the mechanical pencils I have purchased from another source just to find out how decent the lead is. It also comes with a white vinyl eraser, so that's kind of neat. And um, here's the second goof. I, I bought Pilot V5, or I'm sorry, Precise V5 rollerball pins. And um, rollerball pins are, they're not very good for inking over blue lines or graphite because there's something about the particles you've already laid down on the paper gumming up the rollerball. They're fine for sketching though, um, but I already reviewed a set of these for my Walmart review. So if you're interested in these, you should check out that review instead. Um, it's been great talking to you guys. Uh, a little awkward being on this side of the camera. Um, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you check out my Target Art Supply Review series on natosoup.blogspot.com. Bye!